Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Traps again and we are currently looking at the 180 liters tank. Um, I just have a little update on this tank. Uh, I actually added some uh, new fish to this tank. I chose uh, to get some extra uh, Corridora uh, Panda panda corridors and um, I actually had six of them uh, one female and five little males um, and I kind of felt sorry for the just one female that's always like being bugged out by five uh, little males so I just added some new um, uh, panda corridors to the tank uh, about eight of them and uh, I have actually 16 of them now uh, we're going to take a look at uh, one of the adults that's actually quite a big lady and uh, we will take a look at the new ones so over here I have a new panda corridor this is a new one this is just a juvenile a young one let's compare some size and there is a adult one so this is the baby over here and we have an adult lady over here a really pretty looking lady she's really fat has nice barbels and uh, she definitely produced some eggs or eggs already um, I really just like Corridora fish um, they are really polite friendly little fishies and uh, well this little lady is actually chilling over here right now um, and the small ones join in sometimes uh, most of them are actually hiding inside their little apartment over here <laughs> um, there is a, a coconut below this moss over here and there is the entrance to the coconut and uh, usually they are just chilling indoor oh can't zoom properly excuse me well they can get inside this coconut and that's mostly where they are um yeah that's definitely where they are usually um there are as, like i said before there are eight of them inside this tank and um, they are also sometimes inside this little log over here. Um, there are also some Amano shrimp in this tank. Uh, they actually did adapt really well to the tank and they are actually helping out removing lots of algae from the plants and mosses. They are just really big shrimp compared to these little Neo Caridinas. Um, well, this is basically the size difference. Hey, a buried little cherry shrimp in the front as well yay new berries and um, well they actually have been uh, peaceful with each other for a while now the amano shrimp and the cherry shrimp um, that's possibly because this tank is like way bigger and uh, that definitely helps out oh here you can see one of the quarries inside the little uh, coconut that's basically where they are all day and over here is the little the big female not completely sure where the little males are actually right now well the, the juvenile or adult males um let me get give give me a second and i'll try to find some of them let's see where are the little boys i really can't see them right now perhaps in this coconut here is another coconut below the moss again um, do have some algae problems going on though, unfortunately, but uh, I will work on that very soon as well. Um, in the background I had to cut down these plants because they actually became really big. They actually hit at the surface already and I also have to remove some duckweed again. As you can see, it has, uh, basically it's fully uh, overgrown. So definitely have to remove a lot of this duckweed again. Um, the tops of these plants were actually replanted on the sides here. Uh, in the beginning you get a lot of green green growth, um, but eventually it kind of starts to turn red. Here you can see the transition between green leaves and the red leaves. Well, it's not like uh, Ludwigia super red, but it's like still a red variant. It's called diamond or something. I guess it's kind of more like a pink, but fine. It's definitely a nice looking color. We have some Busaflandras growing over here that actually have been growing out pretty well because I, there is way more light right now. Really like this little clump over here. And uh, well, that's basically it guys. Uh, just some new uh, little friends in the 180. Um, this uh, crypto has been, has been growing out really well as well. 
become really large. Um, these two in the back stayed a little bit smaller because um, the plants in the back were actually overhanging and um, these guys were in the shade so these uh, cryptos actually didn't grow that big but this one definitely did. Um, it was just one pot. I actually made three really tiny clumps in the beginning. This one, that one and that one just from one pot and I actually have three really large cryptos right now. This one being the biggest. Um, let's see. Um, there is a Cory Panda on the left inside the log again. Um, we got one over here. That's a new one as well. And we have one over here. <laughs> Behind the algae. Yes, feeding on some block worms right now, getting some protein in, and here is the big lady again. <laughs> Beautiful barbels though. Not impressed. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the uh, vampire snails have been working hard as well. A lot of dead or empty shells, snail shells around here in this corner. And uh, really help, thankful for the creatures. I actually have several of them, the vampire snails. And basically they kill your uh, pest snails just like this. And uh, they empty out the shells, consuming them completely. And it's gone. Really, um, well, in my opinion, it's like a kind of passive... Um, Staying around a uh, snail trap that just basically gets rid of your pest snails if you have too many of them. And it basically keeps the colony size of your uh, pest snails down really well. In the back we have the Anubius, the big one. Has been growing out really well as well. Beautiful plant. A broadleaf green boost over here, not be, that hasn't been growing out very well. That's possibly because it was in the shades as well for a long time. And a bunch of folly scenaria in the back. And basically this is where my uh, pleco lives. I also have an ancestress pleco inside this tank, Plecky. Um, Plecky is possibly almost a year old now and uh, starting to get the, the bristles and stuff and I actually think it's male so I'm really happy to, to have one male uh, with the cool um, bristles on top of his head very soon I hope that's what I hope it's still possible that it's a female but no problem if it's a female it's still fine I just wanted a really I wanted a pleco really bad but I went for a uh, bristle nose pleco because they stay a lot smaller than just the common plecos um, and I don't want uh, a fish the size of half my tank as a pleco so that's basically why I went for the bristle nose pleco still quite a large fish but um, it's definitely fine because this tank is suited for that kind of fish. Uh, it's a uh, 45 gallon tank, I guess. Yeah, it's a 45 gallon tank. So it's quite a large tank. Um, well, guys, that's about it. Just a small update on the 180 liters tank. Um, in the near future, I'm planning to add some traps to this tank as well. Probably the Australiensis Aurum. But um, I was basically working on getting uh, the colony of shrimp um getting healthy and uh, that i actually have enough shrimp in case my traps would feed on some of the shrimp eventually so um just wanted to make sure that i don't uh, lose all my shrimp when i added some some traps to this tank um, and also there is still planaria worms inside this tank that i'm trying to catch with this uh, trap but uh, I will need to refill it very soon, I guess, and um, get rid of these critters. I really don't want to use any chemicals on this tank because I actually also have some, uh, 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 yeah, the assassin snails, what I was talking about. And uh, I actually don't want to kill them. And um, that's basically why I'm not working with chemicals on this tank right now. Uh, we're just working with the plane traps and it works pretty well. Just need to uh, put something high protein in there and uh, leave it overnight. And basically the next morning it's full of worms and you can just get rid of them pretty easily. Keep doing that for like several weeks and uh, eventually the population of worms has decreased um, really well. That's what I was planning on uh, to do 
what I wanted to do. <laughs> so that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the little update video on the 180. I will be back very soon and uh, have a look at it again when I see something interesting or when the quarries are all out grouping or just chilling in the uh, front ground of the foreground. We'll see very soon. Hope to see you next time guys. Have a nice one.